MedEd Bytes, micro just in time education. Hello, this is Scott again, here to guide you through this series of MedEd Bytes on the routine use of the McGrath Mac video laryngoscope. In the Emma trial, the McGrath Mac video laryngoscope was compared to the Macintosh direct laryngoscope for routine intubation in the operating room. The publication entitled a multi-center randomized controlled trial of the McGrath Mac video laryngoscope versus conventional laryngoscopy was published in the journal Anesthesia in 2023. The EMMA trial was a multi-center, open-label, patient-blinded, randomized controlled trial that compared first-pass intubation success rates in patients undergoing elective surgery. The study included 2,092 patients. 1,053 patients in the McGrath Mac video laryngoscopy group, and 1,039 patients in the direct laryngoscopy group. Patients with an expected difficult airway were excluded. First pass success rate was 94% in the McGrath Mac video laryngoscopy group, compared to 82% in the direct laryngoscopy group. Among trainees, first pass success rate was higher in the McGrath Mac video laryngoscopy group, 92.6% for McGrath Mac video laryngoscopy, compared to 77.1% for direct laryngoscopy. Furthermore, overall success rate, defined as less than or equal to two attempts, was higher in the McGrath Mac video laryngoscopy group. Finally, the McGrath Mac video laryngoscopy group also had fewer intubations with a high intubation difficulty score as well as improved glottic visualization. The authors concluded that video laryngoscopy with a Macintosh-shaped blade may be considered as the first approach in the elective surgery setting. Medtronic, engineering the extraordinary.